I'll read you one, one of the tiny little part. Um, and this is the part where uh, it's after I talked to a whole bunch of city officials who kind of extol to me the diversity of the neighborhood. And I think about uh, new urbanist typologies that, 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 that place diversity right at the center of their kind of ideological orientations. Um, I say that diversity, Jane Jacobs and especially the new urbanists reify, is a misapprehension perversion of difference. What they're calling for is absolutely real and attractive. Lively public realms, complete mixed use neighborhoods, pedestrian transit, bike friendly streets, etc. All of those are desirable built forms. But for those goals to be achieved with any stability or resilience or ethics, they have to be the product of a city that disowns land. Where profiteering and capital accumulation from land is disavowed, any city that achieves apoliticized but attractive design objectives while allowing its land to be left to the whims of market will inevitably see its successes captured by capital and quickly destroyed or disemboweled. The neoliberal city is a vampiric city constantly sucking the vibrancy out of his neighborhoods and keeping its most alive residents always on the run. Diversity is the heavily, the heavily securitized simulacrum of difference. The city has to unfold onto itself as the creative production of sociability. But a society of dif a I'm sorry, a city of difference can only exist where everyday people are not preyed upon and where land is not abandoned to the market. Which is why I'm tentative about deferring to gentrification as a driving trope of contemporary urban transformation. Antagonism to gentrification all too stru often strikes me as a defensive action, as working from the presumed inevitability of, di of displacement and dispossession, of self-determining subjectivities, and then trying to ameliorate the effects. Cities are uniquely constituted to meet that challenge, and we know how to do that. We know how to effectively remove land from the market. There's every reason to believe that cities could be remade as socially creative bre breaches that by definition seek to decolonially de repair the injustices their existences are predicated on. Predicated on. That's what a city is for. Thanks, guys.